trying to be full of swag, failing miserably. Um, so yeah, you can see on the bottom right hand corner I have Echoes of the Fallen now installed. Um, I'm also realized that I'm an idiot because I've been testing things out. I overwrote my Final Fantasy data. I don't have a hundred level 100 Final Fantasy data. Uh, oops. <laughs> Uh, but I love this that I can swap between auto and manual save. Uh, which is actually really fucking cool. So you can show all saves, you can show all your manual saves only, or your, uh, or just the auto saves only. So, you get 10 auto saves and then I think you get up to 99 manual saves. Um, that is actually really, really cool. So yeah, that's where I'm currently up to with my Final Fantasy mode because I accidentally overwrote it, uh, and so I had to re-fucking-do it, and that's where I'm up to. Uh, but we're going to go to here because we have Echoes of the Full and Questline now available. Uh, because this was the original playthrough that I did um, as, as actual part of my stream, which I lost, it's been lost to history where my streams went. Um, I did not do it. Uh, I did not save them, I should say, because I was still not an affiliate at the time, but... Uh, how is the audio level going for everything? Just let me know if I need to increase lower. I think I might need to increase a little bit. It is lost to the ether. Um, by the way, for those who have not seen it, this was part of the free DLC. Uh, not free DLC, it's a free patch update. Um, which is, I'll show you the original um, characters, as you can see, but, um, we are absolutely going to take the new, well, the, the free update patch look for everyone. Because they all look so amazing. So this was actually available in October. Uh, I cannot do them in a speedrun because the speedrun defaults you to normal. I cannot update it because it takes too long for me to update everyone's look in the middle of the speedrun. Uh, so this is actually the first time I get to show this off is because I'm not speed testing anything. I am actually get to sit back and enjoy the game for a little bit. So we're going to show off all the new drips which will be the first time since the start of October that I can actually do this. Uh, I can also, like, customize so that the sword that I have equipped, which is this one at the moment, Ragnarok, uh, I can change it to look like any sword that I want. Um, Everdark, I love, I love Braveheart as well. I love Invictus, Grindstone's brilliant, Brightburn is, uh, oh, it's so beautiful. Everdark I love, Levin Bolt is amazing, Flame Tongue still is I think my favourite. So. Uh, we are going to go, well actually no, we're going to do something else. Just quickly. Because I have not done this here. Uh, there's one other thing that we get. Got to claim these items. Uh, because I believe we are going to go, because with appearance and with the weapons, I absolutely unlock them. I do. Uh, we're going the Absolute Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII, because that is Cloud's weapon from Final Fantasy VII. We are taking that one. Our sword is going to look like the Buster Sword for the entire time. FYI, that's the Onion Sword. Uh, we use this in the speedrun. But... We're going to go with the Buster Sword, and I believe, yep, you can see how big this fucking thing is. But that is Cloud Sword. Uh, so yes, we are absolutely rocking that. Water. Okay. Well. Clive. Echoes of the Fallen, here we go. Is something the matter, Karen? You seem... perturbed. Do I know? How clever of you to notice. But yes, someone's come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. I don't have to skip the cutscenes because I don't know what the cutscenes are. I get to watch the cutscenes again. Go on. 
It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Some it's sort of rock. crystal. It's not uh, just any rock. I don't remember seeing one that colour before. Aye, well, that makes two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. <laughs> They're calling them Dusk Crystals. It is a bold on a counter colour. I can't remember the rest of the lines. I see. And they could be used to cast <laughs> magics. Yes! Yes! That they can. Thank you. Thank Just you, like Jess. Brighter, Thank you so much. Cousins. Differences. They don't last as long. After a couple of goes light in your pipe, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. <laughs> hey, Rob's gone. Thank you so much for the six bits. Someone's been flooding welcome, the market welcome. with dodgy goods. And the new Final Fantasy 16 and DLC. After asking the right people the right questions and paying the right price, of course, I managed to get my hands on a sample. Hmm. I see why you're perturbed. Oh. Hey, Hop. Do you feel that, Clive? Yes. I feel gutted for Ben Starr. He put a lot of effort into this game and he came up second. Well, he lost against um, Neil um, Bayman. I can't remember how his the name. Uh, who played Asterion in Baldur's Gate 3. Hey, that was a good voice actor as well, but I think Ben Starr absolutely deserved it for his performance. Oh, All right, here? lads, that'll do for today. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses, and then our bellies. What did you two do now? Typical manager blaming the workers for everything gone wrong. My arms Please don't move on this model. Otherwise I would Stay dance. calm, both of you. Who needs a lantern when yep. you've got one of these? Oh! Oh, wait a second! Ugh, all that work for a single spark. Well... There'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. Okay. That sounded close, Chief. Really close. Really, really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those who run. <laughs> Wait for us, Chief. Okay, so not only is he a bad manager, he's an idiot manager. Turn that down a little bit. The fuck is that? Oh, by the way, uh, before we get a little bit further, I might do a pause, because I just realised something uh, that the uh, Platinum Dan did, but I did not actually do. So let me redo this now that I'm on the right screen. If it will work. Thank you for the four months, buddy. Uh, and uh, since it's a resubscription, I think everyone knows what's about to happen. Uh, buttered popcorn or rotten egg? Well, fuck me. Uh, 
Oh, better popcorn. Okay, that's not that bad. Could be worse. I'm pretty sure that I need to give up these beans because I'm pretty sure they're starting to go off in the heat. Which means that all the good ones are going to turn bad eventually anyways. But... Now it's butter popcorn, so that's not too bad. But I might have to get some new ones. Because yeah, they're, they're, they're starting to um, be suspiciously soft. Um, <laughs> which, when it, with a jelly bean being suspiciously soft is not a good sign. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't account for 36 degree heat, I don't think. But then, I'd never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all changed And I don't since. believe they do. Come to think of it, the first anyone ever heard of these dust yeah, crystals... Yeah, it says October 2024. ...from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Do you think the two things are connected? But the fact Who that knows? they're really soft is not a good sign. Could just be that with Drake's Anyways. tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. Mm. And with the price of decent crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. That makes a the lot of sense. Is, who's selling these crystals and where? So, for those that are unfamiliar, forget the Final Fantasy 16 storyline. So. Uh, the crystals that we use, which are basically the Drake crystals, or the Mother crystals, um, they were mined so that the bearers, people with magic ability, could use them without succumbing to, basically, petrification. Um, we, at this point in the game, have effectively killed all of the magic crystals except for, aka, Origin, which is where Ultima exists, aka, the God of Creation. So... Everyone that wants to use magic will use magic until they're petrified, and people that want to be able to prolong their AKA bearers, AKA slaves, ability to use magic would use crystals to be able to make sure that they could use magic safely. Since all the mother crystals are gone, this new kind of crystal that we can see has a one use time start apparently is popping up in the world. And this is not a good sign because people don't know exactly where it's come from and what damage it might do. That's basically the history of what we're going into. The... Wait. This color. They couldn't be from Origin. That's the they? question is, is it coming from Origin? <sighs> no, that wouldn't make sense. Yep. I saw it form in the sky and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. I've played this game enough to know the story inside and out, even though I skip all the cutscenes. Does that mean that you missed one? Aye. Oh, yeah. There's another mother crystal. That were my thinking, any road. Another mother crystal we didn't know about. I'll speak with Joshua. If you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which. I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Hey, Tomes. Get him to give it a once over, case it rings any bells. Right. Thank you. Let me and I check. expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this, too. Right again. I will. Let me go and find Joshua, and we'll meet you in the shelves. Sorry, I just realized I'm missing a update, which was an upward compressor, which is going to help boost the game audio. I knew it sounded soft on my side. That should fix it. There we go. Upwards compression now should mean that we're not having too many audio imbalances now. Uh, so we'll be with a purple crystal mark. Cool. Fair enough. Uh, we're gonna play something on the orchestrion. Which is the new thing that we have. Oh, we don't get a chance to do it. Oh no, of course we do. Where is it? Away! It's from the original Final Fantasy game.
Joshua. We need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and the, the, the original Final Fantasy came out before I was born. I by by two years, two and a half years. Not least because the Undying made no mention of these Dusk Crystals in any of their recent reports. So they weren't aware of them either? Perhaps. Oh, how's or yet? Sure. perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Wrongly, I might add. For I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. Then we'd better take her advice and consult Hippocrates forthwith. To the shelves, then. That's right. No, my bones are turning sure to ash as well, realizing I'm not that no far away removed from the first Let's Final so. Fantasy game. There you are. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you, Karen. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. <laughs> and you truly Fair think point. this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim, though they may be. But this would also explain how Origin we got created. We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Car's primogenesis, darkening the skies. So might the two be connected? Mm. Could the spell have created a new mother crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? Yeah, that's a good explanation. What do you think, Hippocrates? I think there may well be a connection. Yet, if we are to believe that the original mother crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? Mm. No. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, our fallen forebears, whose oh. wonders litter the land even now. Legend holds that the fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. So they could make their own. Precisely. You may recall that the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the colloquy of the sages a council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Uh, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll save my concerns to after this. Among their many achievements, prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the iconoclasts from which icons derive their name and turned them against each other in the magitech war oh a shit. pointless conflict which served only to make its victors more confident of their right to supplant the gods on high and when at last they ventured to do so the resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil the first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Which Ooh. brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitech mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. There's only one way to know for sure. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen. Where did you buy this one? Down in Port Isolde when I was scratching around for supplies. Since the Imperials buggered off and took the tariffs with him, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gaze. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. Oh, and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. Thank you. I will. Magic Tech War is a reference to Final Fantasy VI. I'm coming too. If there is another Mother Crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together.
No. Interesting. Very interesting. They referenced a couple of Final Fantasy games there. Namely six, but uh oh, no. slow down <laughs> Not very <really> likely <laughs> Close line? Nope. Okay. Here, I wonder. What indeed? Let's ask. Oh, by the way, I never showed this off as well. Uh, if you look in, you'll notice that the uh, the red inside Clive uh, burns, like his heart is burning. Reach the pivotal moment in Echoes of the Fallen. If you continue, you'll not be able to return. Proceed? Hells yeah. Let's do this. Excuse me. Who were those men just now? <sighs> Bloody troublemakers, that's who. As soon as I asked them to present their packs for inspection, they turned white as a sheet and lead did. I chased them all the way from the gates, but they're swift as hares. Still, at least we kept the bastards out. Don't need their kind stirring up any more strife. And what manner of strife have they been stirring up, exactly? Hey, Are you joking? This business with the crystals? Sorry, we've been away for a while. What's been going on? All right, I'll humor you. After the paltry rations the Imperials left behind dried up, folks started trading crystals out in the open. We turned a blind eye at first. Lord Byron's orders. Good well, man. you saw it. They weren't right to deny people the one thing they were all clamoring for. Till the dust started turning up, that is. Dust. Dusk crystals, they're called. Yeah. Ill-favored shards that crack as soon as you look at them. Not that the folk who bought them by the bucket load knew that. And they were baying for blood when they found out. In the end, his lordship had to step in and ban the blasted things. And we've been searching the pack of every trader who's darkened our gates ever since. I see. And you think the men you were pursuing might have been trading in these dusk crystals? Why, you're in the market for some. Anyway, I wouldn't rule it out. In fact, I put a few gill on it. We might still be able to catch them. We might. If you are heading up that way, you'll want to keep your sword handy. It's more than dodgy traders plying the roads these days. Understood. We'll be careful. If those men were selling dusk crystals, I think it's unlikely that they will risk returning to Port Isolde. Which means this might be our only chance of catching them. Faster! You are completely right. Straight home now. It's been a while. Where are you, Toggle? Toggle, nip, Toggle, Toggle, Toggle. Good boy, come here. Get it, boy! Okay, we get to treat first, and then we get to pet him. Cause that's not a pet. That feel good, this boy. is a pet. Yeah, we get to pet Toggle. First time in three months we get to pet Toggle. God, it's good been girl. that long. <laughs> Fly, Ambrosia. Ambrosia gets more love than Toggle does. Oh, okay. Spectres and rates. Interesting. I just realized something. I need to fix this. I need to be out of combat to fix this. Uh, because I was doing speedrun attempts. I need to fix to the proper setup. There we go. Wondering why I was locking on. There we go. Where are they? Still some distance ahead, I'd wager. They were making a good pace. Chuckleberry slide. It'll be them there. Well, at least people that might know where they are. We do get toggle pets. There's another one. 
Still no sign of those traders, though. No. I just hope we haven't lost them. These blimmin' tremors are scaring off all our customers. <laughs> the few that weren't scared off by the skies, you mean? Yeah. Perhaps one of those merchants has seen something. God, I'll love Forgive his voice. Me, but did you happen to see three men in robes pass this way? Yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Poor bastards. What do you mean? A gang of nasty-looking brutes was on their trail. Caught up with them just up the road. Screaming at them, they were. Your crystals are your lives and all that. Only the daft buggers kept their crystals and legged it. Hmm. In which direction, out of interest? Up that way. Towards the old hill docks. If it's help they seek there, they won't find any. But perhaps they might find a place to hide. Let's hope so. And then we can find them before their pursuers do. Thank you. And please... Take care on the road. Yeah, and I love his voice. Ah, of course I can't Come walk. On. They're no good to us dead. Lead the way, brother. Oh, we are not interrupting a Gigas. Are you fucking kidding me? Not happening? No. I don't have any potions either. Why did I not? So the bandits haven't found them either. There's still time. Um, I'm gonna equip my. Do it that way. Level 47 time. makes sense. Okay, cool. Let me double check what I've got equipped at the moment. Okay, still so got that equipped. Uh, I'm gonna change a few things. Um, wind up thunderstorm lightning rod. That's good. That's good. That needs to change the Scarlet Cyclone though. Okay, the rest I'm, I'm, I'm okay with. And over those crystals! By the way, I'm still on I'm on action mode with this, I'm not on story mode, so. Uh let me just show. I think I can show here. Yeah, action focused. So this is not story mode, but I still know action Boy, mode pretty well. We got <laughs> Still haven't got enough to really do like an ignition yet. Who the fuck are you? That's a very good question. Who the fuck are you two? So he's hidden somewhere. Ah, uh, the fuck is that? Okay. That's just a regular equipment that I don't pick up anyways. 
Just making sure it's not a new one. Because I know apparently there are new accessories around as well. Um, what makes me think that they might be by the docks, actually. They said they'll be by the docks, so maybe over here. Just a goblin coin. A little gobo coin. What else have we got? Thought I saw something there. Do I need to clear out all the enemies, or do I just need to find them? Yeah, I just need to find them, I think. I think that would be in the burnt down house. Essentially, that would be a good place to hide, but... Uh -huh. Not here. I have a feeling they might be over here, then. Yep, there we go. Reminder for DLC, you don't need to fight all the enemies, you just need to get to that hut. I think you can probably avoid most of the fights. This should be far enough. Yes, I'm starting to speed run on the fly. Of course I am. Okay. Uh, Chief, they found us. Who are you, by the way, in blue? So a man can't even catch his fucking breath. Amiel. Gentlemen, a word. We understand you've been selling some crisps. And like I told you, thieving mates, you're not fucking getting them. So you could take your massive sword and shove it. I'm sure I could, but we're not thieves. Over here, I can smell the one who shat himself. <laughs> um, okay. Got a plan, Fucking chief. TMI. Tell us you've got a plan. Of course, I've got a bloody plan. Good things and all that. Let's Why does his again, face look we? exactly like a fucking mannequin's? You say you're interested in the crystal trade? Not exactly. In actual fact, we were hoping to talk about this. Is that all? Well, then I know just how to help. If you're after the short shifter, he's over here! Are you mad? Oh. Okay. Prick. Alright, we got a mage user in the back. Reminder of that one. They might have protect or cure. Let's see. Clinkers on the ground. Quick as you like. Gentlemen, you've got it all. Ignition should be fine though. Ignition Scarlet Cyclone, I think. Just look at what he's got in his hand. What? Him? Wait, I'm not. Oh, you prick. Do let us know if you need any more help. All right, mage users at the back. Uh, we moved to the right to pick far, them up. Clive. No, but they'll wish they had. All right, let's do this. I'll carve you like a suckling pig and feed you to your fucking dog. <laughs> yep, figured one of them would have cure. Again, on action mode, by the way. This is where my speedrunning training has come in. North. Making for three reads at a guess. After them. If they reach the swamps, we'll never pick up their trail. So this will be almost like a, a movie Come for most on. people because the, the fighting I don't think is going to be that long. Uh, let me just double check. 
Um, I, I do have these, and I can make it quite shorter if I didn't have all these up. Actually, I can probably get rid of this. Um, what do I have? Cooldown. Experience earned doesn't actually matter. Oh, okay, so let's go for the normal combination I have. Um, which is... Let's go through a lot here. Give me two seconds. Over lightning. Uh, let me sort. That'll help. Uh, favor Inferno. Uh, favor of lightning. Yep. There was something odd about those three. They seem less like merchants and more like charlatans. One might argue that a merchant is naught but a mama without his money. Then why am I not amused? I god love the the writing in this is so fucking good. Hi there, Mr. Big Horn. No I did back. not even mean to aggro you. Don't need don't need to. Ah, oh, they what dropped their find, crystals. Boy? Clive, judging by the state of the ground, a lot more passed this way than our three charlatans. There is. Another group of bandits. <sighs> I doubt they'd leave this crystal behind. Is that the first word Jill has said the, the entire right fucking cutscene? Let's pick up the pace. Or the entire, like, last half an hour. Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia. They wouldn't risk stopping at Martha's rest, would they? Not if they hope to pass unnoticed. God, I feel bad for her and her voice actor. Like, she deserves a lot more than, like, two words. Oh, hang on. Uh, that thing that was them then up that way, not this way. All right. I mean, it could also be timing. Like, let, let's be honest. Like, um, Ben Star said that he had to come back in for the oh, DLC. Persistent bastards! I'll give him that. Friends. I knew those louts were no match for you. But of course you did. Because you know what we're capable of, don't you? Good retort. Now, you deal in crystal. Dusk crystal. And we want to know where you got it. So you're going to tell us. Let's assume for a moment that we are the merchants you're looking for. Why where would can we I tell get your scarf? We procure our stock. What kind of shepherd leads a wolf straight? To oh, oh, oh. Oh. Are they getting worse? Clive, the tower. Well, that's new. That's the uh, fuck. Yeah, chief. Do you think someone else got into the tower? Quiet, you daft sort. And what would they find there if they did? I... I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Echoes, maybe? Or fallen rubbish? I really couldn't say. The entrance is sealed tight. No way in. And how would you know that? If you've never been there? Eh. I... Uh... <laughs> you an akashic monster if you think i'm going to fall for another one of your cheap tricks it is an akashic Clive, monster though trouble what oh oh it's a big horn no no that didn't deserve to become an akashic You can't understand half the words I say, but you got a cash Wait, right? What the dare. fuck is wrong with you, Cloud? Close caption. Probably not. Let them run then. How did that work? I have an idea where they'll be heading anyway. Didn't get right the second time, but fuck it. This shouldn't take too long. 
Yeah, charge. You know you want to. Charge. Yeah. <laughs> that way I can put this in. Do this. Now I'm pop strength on now why as well whilst I'm at the end of the goddamn fight because if I popped it at the start I think I would have killed it. Yep, here comes the raging bull. Yep, you Um I can just do this. Yep. <laughs> uh I can just then do this. So strength tonic at the start of that one. Fair enough. Well, that was ill-timed. But at least we know what was chasing the merchants. <sighs> That's twice we've saved them now. I... I don't see anyone. I've had enough of bandits and beasts, Chief. Can't we just go home? And let those thieving pricks march in and take what's ours? What's ours? Oh, no, no, no. You, you don't mean... The Dusk Crystal's Eye. Halleck? Malik? We're going back to that tower if it's the last thing we do. But the lights, Chief. What about the lights? What about those lights? Uh, first you whine about it being too dark, then you whine about it being too light. Think about how easy it'll be to mine now. A wreck of a manager. And you're sure they're bound for the tower? Hey, Jill has dialogue. <sighs> when they aren't running away from trouble, they're running towards it. Do you know anything of the place, Joshua? Alas, not. I have seen it labelled Sage Spire on some maps, but beyond that, the ruins are no different from any other fallen derelict. Another impenetrable relic of the past. Not so impenetrable, apparently. Our friends plainly found a way in. They could be living there. Like we do in the Invincible. Well, the tower is unquestionably large enough to hide three merchants. But is it large <laughs> enough to hide what we seek? A mother crystal. It would go some way to explain why the area was among the first in Rosaria to fall to the Blight. Yeah, because that was Let's never start. explained. We head to Eastpool and make our approach from the Dim. Oh! Oh! I have always wondered about this. There has been a door in the dim that you've never been able to open. It was intentionally left there for the DLC. Are you kidding me? Oh, hi Wade. Is there anything you need, my lord? No, it doesn't you? No, no, it's fine. Blessing of the Phoenix go with Just wanted to see if you actually had different dialogue, but apparently not. Yeah, there was a door that was here. If if you explored here, there was a door that you could not open. And that even when I came here during the end game, I'm like, oh, maybe there's something else to explore here, and it was completely sealed shut. Still, it's foresight, but also it kind of makes me slightly annoyed, which means that they knew what they were doing. 
Ready, go. That's slightly like I, I'm assuming it's also like done well. Oh, here we go. Yep, here's the cutscene. Yeah, it's to the left. Are those goblins? Oh, maybe not. What are they doing in the Deadlands? They're not your regular goblins. Look what they're carrying. I don't recall ever hearing of goblins using fallen relics as weapons. Well, they certainly are welcoming gifts. I don't fancy working with Nintendo Life. for Tears of the Kingdom Remember crossover. We are. No magic, right? Oh, I can't use magic. Oh, they're even uglier up close. Fuck me. Yeah, we're in the Deadlands. There's no magic. I can't use any icon or ability. Ah, uh, strength tonic. Immediate popping the strength tonic. Are you kidding me? Popping a strength tonic there because, like, yeah, we we have no magic. We can't use ignition. We can't use any of the abilities or the icons. So, yeah. Oh fuck, we're gonna have a lot of encounters in the Deadlands, aren't we? Shit. Let's hope that was the last of them. Indeed. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to have to rely on steel alone. Hmm. Clive, yeah. Joe. The door. You may want to see this. The door. That's exactly the pathway. That's the pathway. Yep. What? Yep, that's the pathway. And that's the door. The door's open now. The door's fucking open now. Okay. Okay. I see what you're playing at. It was open when I found it. Someone was in a hurry. Three guesses as to who. Then this must be their way into the tower. There's only one way to find out. I'll point it out next time I get a chance to, when I do some speedrun practice. But you can go by there, and there is an absolute- the door is absolutely fucking closed. It's like, I wish it was open, so they, they planned for this. Which makes me- like, obviously they hadn't had it ready. So they're making it a DLC, which I'm slightly annoyed about because they planned for it originally, but I, I don't know how I feel about this. We'll see what this all looks like, and if it's worthy of additional value, then absolutely I'm fine with it, but... To be fair, it's $15 Australian this episode, so... What this should we should be able to do most of it within tonight, if not all, because I do speed on track. So this place up. The question is, who? Well, I can tell you who it wasn't. Unauthorized biometrics detected. So oh here. shit! Initializing security scan. It does look Safety really fucking cool. Though. Disengaged. I don't think that was someone. I think it was the tower. Either way, it doesn't sound like we're welcome. Keep your guard up. Do we have our abilities now that we're within the tower, though? Is the next question. We do. Okay, good. Uh, before we go on. Doggo. 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 Oh, okay. We're, we're in the middle of the stool of a cutscene. I can't pet Toggle. No, okay, apparently not. Fuck me. Intruder alert. Intruder oh, okay, we have seven of them. Uh, how do we want to do this? Oh, I know. Simple. Oh, 
<laughs> the funny thing was is that I've been watching a ton of Doctor Who recently because my I, I introduced my partner to it with the latest Doctor Who specials. Uh, she's still never seen a Dalek yet, a uh, Dalek yet, sorry. But it absolutely sounds like them, doesn't it? No, 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 no spoilers, absolutely not. Fucking enjoy it. What the fuck is that? That is fucking massive. Reduces ability cooldown time and restores your HP following your precision dodge. Uh, we are equipping that over ignition. That's a really good fucking accessory. Half flame. Some opponents will cast a spell half flame to summon a magical to protect a nearby alley, um, alley, ally by dealing damage to anyone who comes in contact with it. Enemies accompanied by a half flame can be identified by the six icon. Interesting. More goblins. So now we know where they got okay, their Okay, so if I do this, however. Yeah, okay. So confirmed ignition still fucking OP. Oh, okay, we got we go, ooh, okay, we got you guys. Okay. Well that's fine. You guys are right in a good position for me to do that, right? Um fair enough. Deserve that. Ad break is coming up in three minutes, everyone. Apologies for that. I cannot really stop that. Come on, Zoro. Speed run strats, baby. There's no mother crystal. Yet. We still have plenty of tower to explore. Thank you for the potion. I only have one strength tonic left. Been accidentally hitting that instead of, um, Toggle Sick. I know that voice. Alrighty. Come on. Oh, interesting. <sighs> we 
We might run an ad break here. Well, look who it is. First boss, I'm assuming. Engage. Initiating sterilization lockdown. What the hell is he talking about, Joshua? I love how Clive always asks Joshua for advice and never Good makes up his own mind. Not. Good things. Oh, Jake. get fucked. <laughs> You're not wrong, but then, like, is Jill just like, what, the eye candy? Hey. Like, what the fuck is Jill oh, worth then? Take your friend and get out of this place. Now. Alright, we got boss battle time. Let's do this. Oh, they run away. We do the fighting. Alright, let's do this. Top mode. Okay, we're gonna play cautious. Well, I'm gonna do this whilst you do that. By the way, Sigma. Okay, that hurt. Rude. Get out of the way of that! That also lets me recharge this. And then this. Nice try. Would you like to try all that again? Okay, I, I deserve that. And then this, and I can just do this. And spark this up now again. Because you let me, because you let me dodge. And since I dodge, I have everything back available again. Including all this. Had that all under control. GG. Wasn't worried at all. Couple of good blows. Uh, but again, like, yeah. What is that? Hmm.
And we get material we've never seen before for crafting. New Game Plus is fucked. <laughs> New Game Plus is completely destroyed. Uh, but we have to make sure it's it's honourable for speedrunning because we can't use this shit in New Game Plus either. Because it's paid DLC. So. Unless you're doing a intended New Game Plus including DLC. Because it's other pay, it's it's pay to win otherwise. So. Security Sentinel five zero three offline. Yeah, sorry about that. Initiating need him. emergency call relocation protocol. If I didn't know better, I'd say that was the heart of a mother crystal. Oh, it's going up the tower, so we need to go further up. This is effectively going to be a boss rush, which is what Square Enix is really good for. Oh, hello, you three. <laughs> I knew that fallen thing was no match for you. Allow me to apologize for a Punch him in the face. That was, uh, ill played. Punch him in the All face. All of a misunderstanding, though. Can we start again? No, absolutely not. We don't need your apologies. We need answers. And you're going to give them to us. I uh, suppose you'll be wanting to know about the tower, then. As you've probably guessed, this isn't the first time we've been here. Fact is, my people have been coming to this place for centuries. Your people? Have they now? To these ruins in particular. Aye, well, they, uh, talked to us. Told us what this lot was all for. And what is it for? Well, believe it or not, the Fallen were actually using this place all to right, make Jess, their I'll make own, a, uh, mother crystal. Uh, a bargain with you. Those you can have the robot voice. I have Ben Stark. we ever found was shards. Then... I have oh, Clive. Was right. His voice uh, melts me every time. That the fallen did indeed. And adult Joshua, by the way, as well. Craft crystals. I wouldn't go that far. The shards aren't exactly divine. And Sid. They're not even what you'd call decent. Actually, everyone in. But they're better than nothing, and nothing is what our people yeah, had before we <laughs> found them. So we've been coming here ever since. I mean, you're not but wrong. These dust crystals have only recently appeared on the black market. What made you decide to start selling them? The skies. And Jill. Once they Actually, were dark, really good the crystals voice started growing back, till there were more than you could count. And with the mothers all cracked. Anyone with anything that could muster so much as a spark had people queuing up to take their coin. Yes. At a cost to us all. Quality apart, these crystals are no different from the ones the world has been using since the dawn of time. Hmm? And it cannot continue. No. It cannot. While this is clearly none of Ultima's doing, there can be little doubt but that it serves his cause. Then our path is clear. So let's do what must be done. Wait, you lot aren't thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? Absolutely. Oh, I think there's a good chance we are. You had the perfect chance to sit there and go, Oh, I think I know what you think I think you're thinking, and you didn't do it? The fuck is wrong with you, game? You had the perfect meme opportunity and you fumbled. You fumbled it. Uh, what about... What about the tower's defences? That thing you just fought, it won't be the last one. And the further you climb, the worse they'll get. How about we head back to Martha's before someone gets hurt, eh? That is sound advice. Which I suggest you take before someone gets hurt. <laughs> it is a serious game, but still, they could have done. Like, there's there's humor elements in the game. They could have gone for a really good humor element, but I understand that they the could. Do you think the fallen built all this? 
The knowledge they must have needed. Knowledge now lost. I don't do that because I'm gonna miss all the dialogue. When there's no dialogue, I can do this. Ooh. Left or right? Left or right? Left is best. Speed running coming back into this. Is like every other fallen ruin. Just want to make sure there's no treasure left. chest on this side. There is not. Good. So the speed runner comes back to me to double check, and then I immediately speed run my way through. And speed run because that will be a central point. Yep. <laughs> Oh, this song. The lower ring. Keep your thoughts to yourself, Phoenix. Get them out of the gutter. Oh, there's a door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, just, yep. Yeah, yeah I was about to say. Are, it wasn't just me, good. Of some sort. Oh, or perhaps. Cages. Like some sort of twisted menagerie. A chocobo. But why here? That's a goblin. That's a minotaur. I'm happy that I wasn't the only one that was thinking of the euphemism. Uh, there's a chest here. We gotta find out what's in here. Fallen belts. Holy crap! Okay. Lowers my HP by two. That doesn't matter too much because look at my HP. But five defense is massive. What the fuck else do we have? Uh, Sentinel. No. Oh, I didn't even get to look at all of them. Now, yeah, fuck you. How many of these things are there? Contaminant detected. Releasing subjects Alpha to Epsilon. Wait, they're still alive. But this tower um, is do we have to defeat all of them, or are they going to appear over time? Is the next question. No. Nope. can win. It will be. Over a period. So in which case, we do that. That will spawn the next ones in. Yep. Next ones are flying ones. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? If they build this place to grow crystals. Why imprison creatures here? Yeah, more dogs and um birds. Okay. to change my items. Yep. Uh, 
That device. It glows just like the doors. Do I want to do the door first before the device? I think I will. Yep. Oh, okay. Hi there, Mr. Griffin. do before I continue further I'm sure I'm, I'm about to hit a, a fight here I have to touch Nothing. the crystal first anyways okay then we'll have to find another way No, all good. Take care of yourself. Worry. Stay calm. Is my other advice. I know it might be hard to, but stay calm. I should have pressed the button, shouldn't have I? Because I don't know what the button does anymore. I'm very curious as to what that button did and I didn't press it. I'm so upset with myself. Okay, nourishment bit. Okay, what's this? Yep, we're taking that. I know I, I didn't think that I wouldn't be able to go back and press the button at a later stage. Um, but we do have autosave, so let's have a look. That would have been uh not more than here. Let us press the button and see what happens. See? Let us press the button and see what happens. That device. I'm going to um still re jig my items. I think it does, and in which it case it's fine. Like Entry 680925. Hang on. Mitogenic reactor trial successful. 23 units of grade 3C crystal produced. Moving forward. 
All seeds fabricated from inorganic material are to be replaced with lab-grown organic specimens. Organic specimens? So they were turning living creatures into crystals. Does that change the other door? If it does change the other door, then... Yeah, it, it's still a wow moment. We still have to fight the griffin. It is. Welcome, welcome to Final Fantasy, especially this game. Alright, let's see if this opens up the other door. If it doesn't, then we've learnt this log. Yeah, I think it's a data log. More so than anything else. Nothing. Yeah, it's it's a data log more than anything else. Okay. So reminder we can we can press it because it's a data log. Okay. Um which means Uh that's the correct one. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, it is important info, so I did... It's good that I know this now. Um, I was also very worried that it was going to, like... Yeah, we need to re-equip that, because that's actually a really good fucking... Ab Oh, hello. I'm sorry, what? Oh, you're in the right position. Thank you. Yeah, and enjoy all that damage. Except the Sonics. Nope, 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 Well, I've got the parry. I'm gonna flex. <laughs> I got the parry. I'm gonna flex. <laughs> and that makes two. Yes, but of how many? Well, that depends on how determined they were to conceal their activities. Oh, oh, sorry, give me two seconds, I just need to do something quickly. Let me have a look. So I just got a message, just let me read this quickly.
Yeah. Okay. So, give me give me a little bit. We might call a break soon anyways. Um We might call a break in like 20 minutes anyways. Um, alright. Both doors are closed. This is all too easy. If the tower is in control, why not simply disable the lift? What are you suggesting, Joshua? That it's hurting us. I was gonna say, is that a fucking spaceship? Did you want to see this. This is a hangar. Oh, God, I had vertigo. Fuck. I needed that. Yeah. I did the, the, uh, the wrong pattern. That's the correct pattern. That would have been the correct pattern. Is to, um... Isn't that Dante still from ordering? Yeah, you're not wrong. Hey, no. All in bracelets. Here we go. Yeah, I take the sixth defense over fucking... Again. Oh, that's... That's... Ooh, that's that's 20 HP though. Actually, no. Six defense over 20 HP. Hells yeah. Have you been no? What do you think of the game awards? Or what you've been able to watch? Didn't watch it? Fair enough. few people that didn't watch it because they're kind of sick of it because it's, it's a Jeff Keighley show and it is a bit ridiculous how excited are you for that because I reckon the new monster hunter looks really cool I reckon we should do some multiplayer on that shit oh we're doing this shit are we oh okay then fine Fucking ignition this shit together, because then from this position I can do this. And then from here I can. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it's not very difficult at all. Oh, hello, two big boys. Ah, oh, I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught. Okay. I'm trying to dodge. Because what I want to do is do this. Wait for the other one to come over. That's right. That's what I want to do. Okay. Cool. We're good. We're good. Because then I can do this. Okay. Sweet. Oh, 
I think it's pretty cool. I don't think it's that difficult either. I think you'd have a lot of fun with it, yes? That's just my that's just my opinion. My opinion might be wrong. Ah, I got caught. Got him. Uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm terrible at Monster Hunter myself, to be honest. I mean, you've seen me play this. Like, I'm only good because I've been doing this for like 350 plus hours. Disengagement bit, okay. <sighs> Indicates precise parry timing by temporarily changing the color of a target's display name? I didn't even see this one, Bombardment Pit. Increases will damage dealt by most aerial attacks by 20%, also increases maximum number of stomps. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Uh, I don't want to... Uh... Actually, no, I do want that one. No, because that's slower. Aerial attacks is something I do absolutely want. Alrighty. The soft bean boozled is coming up. Uh, that is Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. <laughs> oh no. Really? Uh, I, I laughed at you, so I'm expecting this to be it. So, here we go. It's Judy Fruity. It's Judy Fruity. So to be honest, as I said before, uh, these have been in my in my room here, and my room has been getting up to thirty seven degrees. So they don't they're they're suspiciously soft, and for jelly beans to be suspiciously soft means that they're kind of bad in a way, anyways. So. It's going to hurt me in a little bit, so. No, because I didn't have them when I came back. Did I? No, because I, I didn't stream when I came back. I did. Uh, no, I actually, no, I did. I did stream. I streamed... When I got back, but I didn't think I took a bean boozled. Did I? I have shocking memory. Anyways. Uh, in 10 minutes, we'll call a break because I've got to pick something up. Transferring Sentry Prototype yeah. AM2. Yeah, if I can't speed run Stasis tomorrow, we know why. Rest. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, it's Mike Wazowski. Uh, that's punk. We'll just have to hope those crystals it's sporting are as worthless as the others. It's a punk Mike Wazowski! Alright, let's do this. Oh, okay. We're going straight into this. All eyes. Yes, yeah, okay. We're going straight into this. Nope, you can go fuck yourself. Using a strong tonic here. He disappeared. Nope. Uh, changing that, so that moves over here. Uh, 
Yep, this is dodge out of the way. We're going to crush you with that. Okay, fair enough. Then you're going to fucking lightning bolt, you little son of a bitch. Oh, Quaker. Okay. The good thing is I know how to fucking counter most of your shit. Okay, you're disappearing. Okay, okay, relent. Oh, okay, here. Ah! Right. Here. Nice try, you son of a bitch. Guess what, I just got back. Oh, and, and I also have lightning bolts, so enjoy. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Quake jump? Okay. Yeah, I can dodge, I can dodge, I can dodge. Dodge that. Come in. I still can't use ignition against you yet. No, I can. Another roulette. Nice try. Oh, that was so fucking close. Oh yeah, go here. Ah, oh, you moved this time. Fair enough. Nice try. Respect. All eyes on you. Okay. Oh, okay. Good thing I got that stagger off because that would have fucking hurt me. Come on, Toggle. Someone help me out here, buddy. again oh enjoy that one with that in place go ahead I was about to say you're gonna get fucking wrecked on that one buddy launch 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 I could probably bring up a game of here whilst I'm doing this because I can dodge these easily here we go. I was about to say what watch me get fucking wrecked I could have had Behemoth out the entire fucking time. Uh, here comes Roulette again. Um, I'm actually going to go in, in the middle here. I'm going to put this here. And there's a reason why I'm going to do that. There. That's it. Oh my fucking god. You m mad, mad person, you. Do you literally have 10,000 Unipogs now? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, let's not. I will have to call a break shortly. Link, As I said, I'm going to pick something up. Re-establishing connection. Oh. Imagine an entire war fought with these things. The 
quantity of ether required to animate them. Yeah, I think stream elements is not linking no to my Twitch to correctly. Their own crystals. Give me two seconds. Unable to establish connection. Raising threat index. Yeah, channel points and and the stream it points are different. Impression. Perhaps the rest of the cages But I am now. thinking of linking them. I just, I just need to work out how to do so correctly. They may not. I think everyone wants easy cope. Um. Keep an eye on the delivery I've got coming. I also just don't want it to be in the middle of the goddamn boss battle. But considering I'm speedrunning this bitch without skipping cutscenes, uh, I think we're not too far away either. Okay, uh, so let me check. No package. Is that? Living flesh. I'm beginning to think this whole tower is alive. It doesn't love easy men. Good job there, Joshua. You really got him with that one. Sailment. Okay, what have we got? Holy shit, this is a good bit. Increases rate in which damage multiplier rises while an enemy is staggered, as well as increases multiplier maximum to 200? The maximum you normally get is 150. Holy fuck, we are equipping that shit because we absolutely go for the maximum everywhere. Anything over this way that we can potentially use? No. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, new game plus DLC is broken. Oh, hi there, everyone. Um, excuse me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop this here. I'm just gonna pop this here for a little bit. Just, and just let me just go over to this side. Just let me, I'm, I'm just gonna walk over here, and then I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. If you just ignore me for a little bit, I'm just gonna do that, and then. It's over. Okay. Good. Good. Wall in agreement. Okay. Good. Thanks for joining. All right, anyways, where was I? Oh, hi there, Minotaur. We might pause at the start of this fight. Actually, we're going to pause here, and then I'm going to call it break here. Um, I'll be back in about three to five minutes. Uh, we'll 
put another three minute out on since I'm on break. Get some music going uh, as I go to the bathroom, collect something, and then, yeah, we'll be back into this. So, um, we'll be back shortly. I said, need to go to the bathroom, but I also need to collect something as well. So, no, oh, don't time me. I'm not good at timing this sort of stuff. I said three to five minutes. It should be fine. That being said, I will see you all shortly. Yeah, fair enough. I, 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 I respect that.
Oh jeez, I'm back now. Just over five minutes. I had to wait because the uh, drive got lost. <laughs> but I am back. I I'm assuming there's a bean boozled now as a result of, of it being six minutes, right? That's what we're doing? Okay, no, it's, it's a bean boozled, it's a bean boozled. Hang on, give me a second. I just gotta close my door. No, because I don't trust those being boozled anyway, so no, fuck it, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so no, you don't get that. <clears throat> Fucking... Alrighty. Akashic? I should have fucking, um, Vox Gambit. Oh, we don't need it. Oh, absolutely I have. Oh, deadly swing. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, that is actually a deadly swing. I parried it. I'm a fucking god gamer. I fucking parried that shit. Didn't hurt. But it's fine. I'll go close. Oh, the one time I do not have stagger available. Are you fucking kidding me? And I can't go up to 200%. I get all of them now because I'm misclimbing. No, I don't need to use that. I, I can fuck it. I can do this. There we go. <laughs> okay, then fine. Fucking bean boozle coming up then. Now that we've we've gotten out of the fight and I'm on this poor screen, we're gonna do a fucking next bean boozle. If I'm violently ill and can't do my speed run tomorrow. I know who to fucking blame. Uh, we have liver and onions is the point, but yet there's one. We have uh, liver and onions uh, or cappuccino. That's liver and onions immediately. I know that's liver and onions. Fuck. There. <laughs> Nope, nope, that washed down immediately. Nope, nope, fuck that. Revivement bit. Improves limit break induced enhancements. Oh, hang on, give me a sec to re read this. Improves limit break induced enhancements. While increasing HP regen during limit break by 50%, also, if fatal damage is taken while the limit gauge is full, a limit break is automatically triggered, preventing KO. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that's actually very useful. Um, that breaks uh, Final Fantasy mode speedruns, because we absolutely need that in Final Fantasy speedruns. Are you kidding me? Uh, can't use that in traditional uh, FF mode speedruns, then. Oh, big fit. 
obtain all fallen bits. Fair enough. So that means that we're near the end of the fucking. Hang on, let, let's let's check the uh the trophies here. Give me give me a sec. Where's the fucking trophies? Oh, there it is. Um, I actually have not obtained all trophies in regular, um, the regular game. Um. Because I keep overwriting them. Okay, we're fifty percent. I'm also not a, a trophy hunter. I don't do all the stuff that requires a trophy. So one of them is like spend. I think it's like a hundred thousand gil in the the bar in the game. That's not required. That's not a hundred percent in my view. So therefore, I don't do it. Not a filthy casual, it's just not a 100% completion requirement. The game does not mark that down as 100% completion, so therefore, ah, I don't devices. give a shit. I, I'm gonna read this. Watch this teleport me to the next fucking area. Oh, yeah. 750501. Average improvement of crystal resilience 492%. When biological core exhibits high ethereal congruity, specimens with a congruity rating of 7 or below are to be sent to B level for military repurposing. I paused my game for that, be fucking happy. I did indeed pause to do that, and I'm pausing now to scold you in extra for it. Um, yeah, we can do this. She does. She absolutely does. Oh, you're in good position now for this. Thank you for lining up this way, you fucking idiots. Thank you, because then I can also do this. Ah, uh, thank you, Joshua. Still as useless as fucking ever. Uh, you walk back into the the right time. The, the right time. I'm I'm learning group combat very good. To attaining godhood than we ever imagined. No wonder Ultima struck them down. Can I get a clip of what chat just said over the last fucking thirty seconds? Because I just caught up with it. The fuck are you talking about? Mods, by the way. This is why you don't give them any fucking power. <laughs> I know, I you've just you you've just come in, so therefore, phrasing. You've just arrived again, phrasing. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hi there, Mr. Omicron. Omicron Percy, I... Uh, fuck, what is it? God damn it, I'm trying to make a feature on a reference and I can't fucking remember the planet. Omicron Percy, I hate. I think that is it. Why do I have to get in the jar? I'm not, I'm not doing anything wrong here. Why am I getting punished for the rest of the mod's actions here? The fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, good dog. Nope. Try again, mate. Over here. Do it again. Okay, no, no. Over here. Well, I can do this. And I can just do that and kill you. Okay. Only because I love you all. I do expect something from this, by the way, mods. Did you put the resub in the chat? Put your resubs in the fucking chat so I can fucking do this. What did you do that one? Let's do it again. <sighs> Toasted marshmallow or stink bug. <laughs> it's on cooldown. Uh. Oh, you know, you're not getting peer pressure after that just happened. Nope. It, it wasn't dead fish. Uh, if it was dead fish, uh, uh, Bean Boozer will be completely cancelled for the rest of the stream. Because dead fish is the worst fucking one of them. So, you're not going to peer pressure me in. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary finaries, this is why you don't put it up with peer pressure. It's always going to end up fucking bad. Ugh. Human Elements has been working well today. Happy with that. Code Red. The heart must be close. Are we going that way? Okay. I, I can't lost my way out to the beam diesel. I do it for the fans. I do it for all of you. Because you know I love you. And you all know that too. It's good entertainment. Oh, I need to speak about the charity stuff I'm doing next week.
I'll do that after this. Because I might develop the... Ooh, cutscene. Nope, not cutting. The Hall of Elicitation. Beth. Now's our chance. That sounds dirty. No, not a sex charity. Um, I am, uh, for my birthday stream, um, with the... Uh, actually, I'll do it a little bit here. Uh, but I'll actually do the official announcement a little bit later. But, because uh, this seems like a fucking boss battle. So, um, I haven't quite worked out the charity yet, but with Christmas coming up, what I wanted to do was to donate to a charity, especially for, um, people that, uh, may not be able to experience the joy of Christmas, etc., or, or be able to, to get the things that they want, for instance. So I'm thinking of, like, a charity that be able to help... It's almost like, not, not quite make a wish, but almost like a people can donate stuff to help fund for, for kids to, to enjoy the spirit of Christmas. Something like that, yeah, Toys for Tots. I, I don't know if there's an Australian one of that, but I want something similar to that. Where, yeah, it, it, it's basically that we can donate so that, like, kids can, can donate. Like, it, it's not that they'll donate to our wish list because I don't have enough people that will donate enough money. Um, but at least to a generic one where people, like, kids will, will uh, and parents and stuff like that will, will subscribe up to it and therefore we can help put charity money towards it, etc. Um. No, it's it's, it's it's all good. It's, it's only if people can. Um, and the main reason why is because I was thinking about it. Like, it's my birthday, but I don't want money from people, nor do I want to... to as much as I would love to have more subscribers and, and be able to do all that sort of stuff, I don't think that's in the spirit of, of my channel. Um, so, I'm thinking of doing that. Um... And I'm still trying to work out the charity, but everything that we're doing, like, if you have anything, like, any amount of money to donate uh, on the 16th of December, um, absolutely do that. I love, I love that I was being completely wholesome about that, and, and actually, Noel was also being very wholesome as well, and then the rest of chat decided to dunk on him in my wholesome speech for no fucking reason. <laughs> and there's the swerve. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, sixteenth for my birthday stream. <laughs> uh, we are going to do a charity donation. Um, for something like that, I'm still trying to work out the logistics behind it. Um, there are. Um, so the three things I know I have locked in is the karaoke and the rocksmith stream. Um, the other one is plastic, uh, plastic duck simulator. So if you donate, um, any amount of money, um, it's a minimum of $7.50 Australian or $5 USD or any resubscription or subscription. Uh, no being boozled that day. God, no, I can't fucking take any more on my birthday. God, give me some kind of a break. Um, but you get to name ducks. You get to name the ducks on stream. Oh yeah, mods get a free duck, obviously. So, when the ducks come in, because obviously the ducks spawn in, you, the mods get a free duck. Uh, you do realise you don't get the name specifically the duck. It's, it's if you do that, I put your name on the duck. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, by the way, the game doesn't allow that. I've also tested that. The game does not allow swear words. So, no. Nice try. <laughs> no, no, no. So, it, it, it's, it's more sort of like a charity sort of type thing. And it's supposed to be wholesome. And I'm, I'm going to say this again. It's going to be wholesome that people put their names on there. Or names of people that... Um, their loved ones, for instance. Like. Uh, 
I'm putting my mum's name on there, so if you sully this, I swear to god, I'm raining hellfire down on all of you for this. Because absolutely, like, my mum's been my biggest inspiration and the reason why I'm doing so many charity events. So if you fuck this all up for me, and you know as the streamer, like, I know mods and chat bully the streamer. There is the one instance where the streamer is going to rain hellfire down on all of you. And the main reason why is because all of you lot are involved in campaigns I run. I, you're good, because you're, you're taking this seriously. But the other two is in a campaign uh, that we run, and you know the hellfire I can bring upon you if you want. <laughs> What's this? The repercussions of my actions? Oh, I've dealt with this before. Fuck him. <laughs> Nah, but in all seriousness, it is it is going to be a... It's supposed to be a wholesome event. Uh, because I want people to sit there. It's it's like a mini Christmas. Uh, 16th of December. Um, which is the closest I can get to my birthday. Um, without it being that close to Christmas where everything gets fucked up anyway. So, next Saturday. So, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Um, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, so 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, so as I said, that's the three things. There's another thing I want to do. Um, I have a plan for the early morning. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. But yeah. Oh yeah, so the plastic plastic ducks and the guitar and karaoke will be 12 to 8. It's the first four hours I'm trying to fill in. So even if you just pop in, like, donate, get your name on a duck. Uh, we'll have the VODs. The VODs for the duck, absolutely, because there will be no music. Um, we are going to, be, again, it's like going to be like a Christmas party for the ducks. Ooh, Okay. And yeah, karaoke will have some guests, people singing. So, uh, we will make sure that is all set up as well. And yeah, I missed the latest subscriber being null as well. I just realized that as well. So, um, so a couple of songs for people to sing on. And then I think we're going to end with about two hours of guitar playing. Uh, my fingers, I've been prepping my fingers. My fingers are all good for that as well. So. Uh, I did give you a bean. You're another one. Because I did miss it, if you want. Thank you for the three months, Mr. Null. Ah, uh, Juicy Pear or Booger? Nope. Camera 2 is not on. This just fell into Juicy Pear or Booger. Which is the green one. Ah, uh, Fuck. No, I wish it was. Oh. Ah. <coughs> I wish it was pear. I can actually kind of take pear. No, I did. I I did, and I deserve that. But anyways. God, chat's getting out of control. <laughs> what did I agree to? Anyways. 
That being said, I think it's been a while. Let's get us back to the gameplay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put this in the, uh, the VOD. Um, I didn't put fucking stream markers on. Fuck, I did not put stream markers on for fucking Dan. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to put a little point in that we can put onto the YouTube VOD that sits there and goes, between this point and this point, just fucking ignore anything that happens. Unauthorized entry detected. Here we go. Primary core firewalls activated. Oh, YouTube TOS, I think, because I played the Final Fantasy 15 OST to begin with. I think it's TOS, anyways. A feeling we're about to find out. We'll find out. And that we oh, will not like the answer. fucking jinx, Joshua. You owe me a Coke, you fuck. Oh, I know mods are always going off rails. That's why you're mods. Interesting. Um, core containment complete. Authorizing environmental sterilization protocol. Well, at least we know where it is this time. Quite. And if we want it, we fucking take it. <laughs> if we want it. All we have to do is kill an icon. But we can't use our own icons? We have- Oh, Fucking I have all of them, don't I? Here. Fuck me. Alright, what do you got? Delta attack. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought that was gonna do. Yep. Dodge. Okay, we got wave cannon as well. I'm just reading the attacks at the moment. Okay. Alright, I think I'm good. We're gonna do this to start with. He fucking dodged the brick. Okay. M. Ooh! That's me. Okay. That's a bit close to the I don't like that one. Oh, yep. Dodging, 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 dodging. It does look like a Guardian from Rest of the Here comes another Delta attack. Okay, let me just double check how this works. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. Okay, what are we happy? Is it over? Please tell me it's over. <laughs> Data assessment complete. Recalculating threat level. Weapon routines authorized. Oh, fuck me. Uh, it's going to get a power boost. And what makes you say that? Um... Oh, you wouldn't have my size at the moment. Tool is not worst boy. Tool is absolutely best boy because he does a ton of shit in the game. 
Oh. Ah, okay, here we go. Super boss time. Hang on, give me a sec. I gotta refuel. Alright. I'm convinced. Alright. Let's do this ship. What have we got? Maximum overdrive. So that's just a very big attacking combination. Okay. What else do you have? This music is so fucking good. Okay, you attack by lunging? What else do you have? Alright, so I'll attack you here. Let me just see what you can do. Okay. Okay, that's quite a bit you can do. Okay. Attack a bit too early. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna unleash this anyways, because you get hit with this irregardless where you are. So I can unleash this. Put you in a stagger. Put this out. Okay. Iron Flux. Ooh! How did all of this not trigger fucking Bahamut? Are you kidding me? Here we go. Fucking unleashing Bahamut level 3 at least. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, recovering there. I had to. Putting this down. Oh, he moved. Little shit. Fucking that, you bitch. And then that, and then all of this. Oh, 
Well, that hurts. Um, I don't think I can change. I can change for some of them. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. No, need the emergency. Fuck off! Oh, I, I thought... Okay, I'm gonna do this again. that again should be at the start it is at the start no it's at that point okay yeah fair enough let's try um That I'm, I missed all of that. Oh. 
missing everything. It's pissing me off. Don't. Dodge, 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 dodge. Come in, bring it in, do that, unleash. That's how you do it. Okay, that's what I wanted to do originally. Okay, third phase. I fucking love super bosses. It, it's a culmination of what you've learnt in the game. We have a time limit now. We've got it here. It, it dies here. There it is. Told you, it will die there. Had to. Had to have died there. Uh, we had enough.
died once in the second phase. I also came into the entire complex without potions, but... Good to know my speedrunning knowledge has helped me. Omega Control Unit. Offline. Initiating. Emergency Core Extraction. Oh, the crystal's gonna go somewhere. No, 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 we need to get rid of the core, we need to get rid of it. Would you care the music! To the honors, Clive? <laughs> Gladly. For what? I thought I told you to leave this place. What must you ruin us all? I, I cannot let you do that. We need these crystals. They're all we have. And just who is this we? We are of an ancient tribe. One of the first to lose its lands to the blight. For countless years, we were forced to roam the twins. A nation without a mother crystal. A people without a blessing. So we found our own. The dust crystals provide us a means to survive. Yes, but at what cost? I call crystals. These shards channel ether. And where do you think that ether comes from? It sucked from the land, as a leech sucks blood from a beast. And what? You just expect us to believe that? No, but that doesn't make what we've told you any less true. If this heart is anything like the others, it will bleed the twins of their life force, till naught remains, naught but death. The proof is all around. What do you think robbed your people of their home in the first place? We are trying to stop that from happening again. And this is the only way. Fuck me! You're Sid! You saw what happened after the Empire lost Drake's head. What do you suppose they will do when they find out, as they surely will? that there is another heart hidden right here under their noses. Your people's need will count for naught. Damn it. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. But you said you didn't believe him, Chief. I don't. But the man does have a point. There's no keeping this place a secret now. And hanging on to these crystals will only get our people killed. Have it your way, then. Just promise me you'll leave my people out of it. Stand back. It's about to get hot in here. Let's say, motherfucker, you brought your people into this. The fuck did you want us to do about that sort of shit? Rude. Search detected. Warning. System overload. System overload. We're going limit break on their asses. Core not 
from system failure. System failure. I'm assuming this is the end of the DLC. Did the right thing. Yeah, you did. And the reason is explained in the ending of FF16, not the DLC. You can't rely upon the crystals because the crystals are the power of the gods, and the gods bestowed upon man and thought that they bestowed too much upon it and gave them consciousness and therefore as a result wants to extract consciousness from man. But humankind have learned to have consciousness without the crystals and without magic. Hence why bearers became slaves effectively. And as a result it makes sense to for humanity to survive is to go against the crystal's wishes because that they have consciousness it is survival instinct for those wondering as to why this all happened and for the ending of FF16 yeah, I fucking figured that was going to happen soon, too. Alright. I hit my mic in, in protest. Oh, fuck me. That is, uh, because I had to spend it a few times to not hit on the same ones we've had tonight. That is strawberry banana smoothie or dead fucking fish. Just let me make sure I have the right one here. Nope, that's the right one, and it's also covered in chili flakes. Oh, thank fucking Christ. Okay. It's got chili on it, so I'm gonna hurt for it later anyways, but... I just strawberry banana smoothie. But it still has the chili flakes from the, um, the, the... From... The uh, one chip challenge, by the way, because I um that kind of spread into the. Don't ask me how the fuck it happened, but it has. I worked out because there was massive fucking chili flakes inside the fucking bean boozled as well. Um, so I also get a massive hit of chili whenever I have half of the fucking bean boozled. So, and it's also why I said, like, a lot of this stuff is, like, oh, God, like, a lot of, like, shit is not good anyways. Because I have a massive hit of fucking chili. And spiciness as well. But anyways, it wasn't that bad. I still have a hot fucking tongue. Ow. Oh, the door's fucking closed again. We all saw the crystals fade, but what of the cages? We barely even explored half of the chambers. Mm, without the heart to sustain them, I doubt those still slumbering in the tower will stir now, if ever. 
I hope you're right. The last thing the world needs is one of those six-legged pests running around wreaking havoc. We have more than enough two-legged pests to deal with as it is. However blameless they may claim to be. Oh. Get rid of the fucking second camera. Oh. Two-legged. Right. Yeah, you Sorry. lot. I was just wondering what I'm going to tell the village elders when we get back. I suppose I'll just beg them for forgiveness, and when that doesn't work, give them the slip and lie low for a year or two. Oh. You're planning to run away. Again. Oh, here we go. Uh, we're oh, going to send them to the invisible. Far, hasn't it? The invincible? I mean, yeah. okay. we may have had a bit of help, like. Kind of you to remember. Will you and your people be all right? Oh, we've made do without before. I reckon we'll survive. And if what you said is true, oh, look at it's his not eyes. Like the rest of the realm's going to have it much easier. Besides, one man's ordeal scarf. is another man's oh, opportunity. As the old now, saying, I like goes. my purple eyes. I don't recall ever hearing that one, but fine. Yeah. Now, if you don't mind, we've got places to be. We do? I mean, we do. Uh, thanks for uh, everything. I said, we've got places to be. Ah, oh, the next DLC. Oh, see you in six months' time. Back to the hideaway then. Karen and Hippocrates will want to hear about this. Uh, I was thinking we might first return to the tower and see if we can... Back to the hideaway, then. Yep, Jewel with the smart intuition. Ooh, speak with Karen. Okay, here we go. There was more stuff that I want to listen to in the jukebox as well. I'm going to wait for this. Back are you? So? Did you find out where the dust crystals were coming from or what? It's uh, a long story. And perhaps one better told in the shelves. Bloody hell. Remind me never to go poking round in any fallen ruins. Not only a mother crystal of human creation, but an icon as well. Truly, the study of our fallen forebears is endlessly rewarding. The wonders of which they were capable never cease to amaze. They came as something of a surprise to us, too. You can say that again. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set foot in that tower. We only knew the old stories. Of a people so consumed by greed that they sought to overthrow the gods. And I'd hazard the thing we found in that tower was conceived for that very purpose. Omega. The offspring of the Fallen's boundless knowledge and unchecked ambition. A dangerous combination for all concerned. And Ultima crushed them. It was he whose secrets the Fallen coveted, let's not forget. He whom they strove to dethrone. Just as we strive to dethrone him now. Without their knowledge. And without their weapons of war. Clive. This power I've been given may exceed even theirs. But if I use it, as they did... Who's to say things won't end the same way? Come now, brother. I think the events of recent days have made the it abundantly clear that we are not our ancestors. All. As well you know. You're right. They made crystals. We destroy them. In crafting their artificial art, the Fallen sought to emulate the Divine. But that is not the path we have chosen. No. We don't want to be gods. We just want to be free. 
And that's what he tells Ultima. If one does not learn from the mistakes of the past, one is doomed to repeat them. And so, I mean to write down everything you've told me to the very last detail, that those who come after might learn from our travails, and perhaps, just perhaps, forge a brighter future for our descendants. That is the DLC. Again, like this would like for fifteen dollars. Um, hell's yeah, you could probably do a lot more than I did. Um, I'm also a speedrunner, so I really, I think I just, I didn't get everything. Uh, I'm missing one. Why? Oh, it'll be on. Yeah, there would be one on Final Fantasy mode, which I will be able to get anyways. There was another song. I just want to check. I'm pretty sure there was another song though, wasn't it? It was more of a mount, I think. Oh, bugger. Yeah, really good DLC, but 15 bucks with the uh, accessories. Uh, the accessories that absolutely will help. Um, if you were to do the end game, like these are not bad accessories. These are really good. So, if you were to do a new game plus DLC before heading into the final battle because this all happens before final battle um for those that are interested as to how it works for those who missed it i'll load uh i'm tempted to save file again actually no i need to don't i i need to save file again There we go. I also just know how this shit works. I need to have a save file. Um, so for manual saves, those interested, when you load a completed save file, uh, there are a few requirements to be able to get this. There are a few Based upon the notes we've been given by Square Enix, so there are three major side quests that you need to do to be able to unlock this. But, uh, if you want, irregardless, I'm just going to show this off. I put father, he should be with you when his vision is finally realized. You can see that that is there but origin is still here and therefore we can go straight to the end game in the middle of the main quest however there is a slight delay because we have to deal with the cutscene that goes to the map does that affect timing uh with our current uh data no it doesn't because we're all that much separated that a one and a half second inclusion for this does not actually matter anything to the new game that's just all that we're thinking at this point um have they made other changes that may subsequently affect the speed run well I believe this is a good time that someone investigates, don't you think?
So. Let me... Oh, that is so good. Uh, I've never used photo mode, but if anyone wants to capture a really great moment, that is actually really cool. I like that addition. Um, what else do we have here? Um, that's all still the same. Apparently, with the latest patch notes, the frame rate should improve. It technically, from what we've seen, has not started. Oh, ad break coming in three minutes. In saying that, I might add, I might do a break here to stop the ad break. So I might actually incorporate one because I need to go pee. So I think I might do a two minute one. That's all good. Okay, so we're good here. But we're about to do a speed run test. Um, I'm going to circumvent the ad break by doing a two minute break as I go to the bathroom. So with that being said, we'll go back to the BRB screen. Uh, I'm going to get DMCA'd as I play. It's more Final Fantasy 15 fucking music because of course I will. But I will see you all very shortly.